Hello everyone, Home's Life. I hope you're feeling good today. Okay, may I introduce myself? Thank you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Biso Firin Alciti, and you can call me Alcid. I am from Wanimokiri Junior High School. Today, I want to tell you about the most popular folk tales from West Sumatra, entitled Malin Kundang. Are you ready? Okay, let's start the story. Once upon a time, on the coast of Sumatra, there lived a mother and her son named Malin Kundang. Malin Kundang was an obedient child and liked to help his mother. He was also good at catching fish. Malin Kundang had a big dream, becoming a rich person and making his mother happy. One day, Malin Kundang saw a rich fisherman come into his village. He was amazed to see the rich man. He told his mother that he wanted to work for that man. Malin approached the rich man and told him, his intention to work for him. And the rich man agreed. Seeing Malin's enthusiasm, his mother approved, although she was very sad. Malin said, Don't be sad, mother. I promise I will come home when I am rich. Then Malin sailed with the rich fisherman. After sailing for several days, they arrived at the big coast of town with the big and busy market. There, the rich fisherman lived. Malin was very surprised and excited. He worked very hard from day to day. He caught fishes and then sold them at the market. Years passed. Malin Gundang grew into a rich man and he was good at trading. And then, he married a beautiful woman there. One day, Malin Kundang invited his wife to Dagan Island where Malin was born. They shelled on Malin's new ship. When they arrived there, they were greeted by many people and one of them was Malin's mother. When Malin and his wife got off the ship, Malin's mother immediately ran and hugged Malin tightly, and she said, Oh, my son, you're finally back. I missed you so much. His, mo his wife asked, What? Malin, this shabby one is your mother? Malin felt embarrassed, and he pushed his mother until she fell to the ground, and he said, Hey, who are you? I don't have mother like you. Come on, let's get off this island. Then, Malin and his wife left the island immediately. The mother felt very sad and asked God to punish her son. God, who heard this request, then sent out a punishment in the form of a thunderstorm that destroyed Malin's ship and its contents. Malin was thrown from the ship and drifted in the ship until she was unconscious. Once she realized that he was stranded on an island. When he was about to move his body, suddenly she felt stiff. Malin cried and apologized to God and his mother for being disobedient. But unfortunately, it was too late. The stiff body had turned into a stone. The moral value of the story is we must respect our parents and we must not be disobedient. Thank you.